Morning folks, Captain Dave Perros, for Salty Cape here at the Green Pond boat ramp in Falmouth. Nice boat ramp. One of the advantages of this boat ramp is it's not as um, crowded necessarily as the Falmouth Harbor boat ramp. And in fact, a lot of people who don't like dealing with the crowds will use this boat ramp instead. Again, similar to Falmouth Harbor, your boating access is to Nantucket Sound, straight shot across to the vineyard, get you closer to Waukoit Bay, Papanesset. Some people use this to even go down as far as Osterville. Um, one of the advantages, again, is that it's a quicker shot out to the water. Falmouth Harbor is a little long, idling out. I don't have a problem, but I know people who, who like to do things quickly don't like that about Falmouth Harbor. So here, you're just a little bit quicker out to the sound. One of the advantages, again, of this boat ramp, it's really not tide dependent. Pretty much can use it at any stage of the tide. Uh, they've recently uh, redone it, so the pad is really good. It extends much further into the water than it did before. So unlike the old days when you could get your trailer hung up on the end, no problems with that any longer. Parking here at the Green Pond uh, boat ramp, a little more limited. Um, those of you with the really, really big boat trailers, uh, probably not going to be able to use this boat ramp. Uh, fills up pretty quickly in season, very popular. It's a nice clean parking lot, but again, a little bit limited. Uh, one thing that's nice about this boat ramp is they do have floats uh, on both sides. Um, one of the challenges on the other side is it doesn't have a gangway. It actually just has a ladder that you'd have to go down to. Uh, this side has a really nice gangway. Um, again, you, the, using your lines here is real easy. Um, not a problem like you have down in Falmouth Harbor. So certainly a good idea. As far as the surrounding area is concerned, um, you don't have uh, gas here. You don't have, uh, you can't purchase gas on the water. Gas station close by. But there's really, you know, you're fairly close to Route 28, but there really isn't anything that I would say was a, um, a super amenity or anything like that. It's just basically, um, this is a residential area for the most part.